Cage Vivaldi here. On behalf of Gear Gods, here to talk to you today about my gear. My music gear. So what I have with me today is my main 7 string. This is an RG7CT. Um, it's actually a pre-J custom uh, model that Ibanez did back in 99. So it actually has 90% of the J custom specs, just as prestige on it. And uh, it has a uh, mahogany body, with flammable top, side dot inlays, and the neck is just to absolutely die for. It's very thin, it's very comfortable. Um, and as far as pickups are concerned, I'm using a custom set of DeMarzio pickups, which are actually templated off of a PDF 7 as well as the Air Norton 7. So uh, they're very moody, they're very versatile, you can do a lot of different things with them. So this guitar is really cool, it's one of my favorites, it's a custom RGD 2127Z. So um, obviously you see I nodded the absolute hell out of it. So from top to bottom we have the Spurzel uh, custom tuners. Um, we powder coated all the nuts and bolts and you know wherever I can find them. It is an extended range, I think it's 26 and a half or 27, I'm not entirely sure. Um, body's basswood. And the pickups, we have a very different set than what's on the RGCT7. We have a DiMarzio uh, liquefier 7, which is really, really great, all around, badass pickup. And over here, we actually have a Bare Knuckles Miracle Man, which is just incredible on basswood guitars. Now onto the amp portion of my rig. Uh, I have two different setups for two different scenarios. Um, I've been working with Peter for like the past six, seven years, and my all time favorite amp is a 65 5 Plus. I think it's just the quintessential badass high gain metal amp that you can get. Uh, it's very timeless, I love the tone of it, so I pretty much use it for rhythm guitar on a bulk of my records. Now, uh, when I went to the studio for Universal Language, I was introduced to the XFX Ultra. Now, the XFX is, I mean, this thing is like a NASA device. It's a rig within itself, you know, because um, the amp model that I'm using is a 6505 PV model that they have in there. I've got the drive, bass, mid, treble, all that stuff there. And um, back to layout, we have the cab, 4x12, probably a recto kind of thing going. Um, a gate, multi delay to make my tone sound like pure sex in tone form. And we have a parametric EQ, which I had absolutely nothing to do with. This was what Putney's doing when we recorded Away With Words. Um, kind of just, I guess, a mid-boost. I don't know, gear nerds will probably know what that is more than I will. Because uh, literally, again, it took me like five minutes to make this tone. I'm not that much of a tone chaser. Um, but, uh, you know, my philosophy pretty much is if it feels good underneath my fingers and it sounds great to my ear, I go with it. I don't care what's behind all the parameters and compressors and all that other crazy stuff. So uh, aside from the Aspects Ultra, what I'm using for a power amp is a Carbon HD 1500. It's um, very simple, doesn't color the tone at all, flat range, flat response, solid state power amp. So this is the floorboard unit that's actually switching all of my tones in my Axfx Ultra during shows. The really cool thing about it is that it completely eliminated all the tap dancing I used to do when I had a bunch of stomp boxes. Now, the only pedal I am using is the Dragon 2 by Morley. I think it's a George Lynch signature. Obviously, the one thing I love about Morley is that you just go up and it's activated. You don't have to hit any buttons underneath it. So, um, and it's a really awesome wah because it's very aggressive. It gives you a lot of wide range of tones and this is what it sounds like. So we're just going to go through a nice uh, run through of all the tones that I use. So I think this is a clean, yeah, this is pretty much a straight up clean tone. Then I think next we have a, uh, a rhythm tone. Yeah. Let's see what we have. Uh... 
this is a very wet clean.